In today's world, our next guest says too often the symptoms are treated while the cause goes undetected. At Alternative Healthcare, Dr. Shari Roguski practices a whole body approach to medicine and offers both traditional and alternative forms of healing. Dr. Roguski is a licensed chiropractic physician, acupuncturist, hypnotherapist, and nutritionist. Joining her is Kelly Falco, an eye lipo technician, recently featured on our show. Welcome back, and it's great to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk more about alternative health care. It's located in Madison. Well, what do you guys do there? Well, first and foremost, I'm a chiropractic physician, and I'm trained as an acupuncturist. We do a lot of functional medicine, hypnotherapy, um, a lot of nutrition. I have a wonderful holistic pharmacy, and uh, the newest addition to my practice is my eye lipo, oh, which and she's our tech in this. Exactly. And how long <laughs> have you been doing that, Kelly? A couple months now. Okay, we're going to talk more about that in just a few minutes. Can't wait to hear more about it. But let's talk about some of the things you are doing with acupuncture. Okay. That's really something, um, of course, that isn't done always around here. It's an alternative therapy. Mm -hmm. Tell us how that works. Well, actually, actually, the whole goal of acupuncture is to balance your body's energy, which is called qi. Okay? And once the body's energy is balanced, ancient Chinese physicians, you know, they claim that everything else will fall into place. So the whole idea of like facial rejuvenation, we first take the body into its, you know, homeostasis using a special treatment depending on what the patient needs. And then we use certain points to help raise the skin on the face. Okay, we're talking about using, in acupuncture, what are you using to? Well, there's a, a lot of different methods that we can use, okay. but tr the traditional, what most people know about are the needles. Exactly, that use, that's okay? what I wanted to talk about, And yes. I use sterilized, only one-use needles, so these are never like used on any more than one person. And then I use what's called a Tai Sheen, because there are some points that are so tender, you would never want to put a needle into that point. And then there's electric stim, and... There's all kinds of different types of acupuncture methods. And so what do your patients tell you when you actually put that needle in? Can they feel it? No. They can't? No. 99% of the time they don't feel it. Occasionally if I hit a nerve and I always let them know to please let me know if they feel anything because I really don't want a needle sitting on a nerve. So I just remove the needle and I put it adjacent to the area. Um, sometimes there is a kind of pain that's good, sort of like an achy pain. That means we've really gotten into the meridian, and that's, that's actually a plus. All right, good. Now, you're using it for re facial rejuvenation, as you yes. just mentioned. I understand Kelly went through that? Yes I, yes, I did. So what was that like? It was actually very relaxing. You're in a nice warm room, and she puts the needles all around your head, your face, and you don't feel anything. Okay, let's and it a, feels it makes your body just feel great. We actually have some it. pictures. Okay, so uh, let's just take a look at this. Okay, what are we seeing here, Dr. Roguski? Okay, this is the before picture, and take note of her eyebrows and some of the wrinkles. Um, and you'll see there's a there's a side shot that should be coming up, and you'll see wrinkles on her side. And these are the problem areas you, you want to get right repaired, right? Right. right. She okay. has you know the facial underneath the eye kind of wrinkle starting she's just starting to get her wrinkles okay and then look at her I mean it how much of a difference what are people saying that my eyebrows are higher and that my face looks much smoother take a look smoother. at the camera so people can really see that all right point that out again eyebrows. my eyebrows are higher mm -hmm. I can see that. and that this area right along here is getting much smoother and how many treatments have you already had with I've this? had three how many more do you think you're gonna do three Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, love seeing the, that. <laughs> Let's talk about the eye lipo. <laughs> okay. How, how does this work? This is a wonderful machine. I mean, I, I can't tell you, I just can't say enough about it. Um, it's, it really breaks down the fat cell. It's cold laser, goes into the cell, opens it up, takes the fat out of the cell, and then brings it through the interstitial spaces, out through the lymphatic system. You have to exercise for about 20 minutes, nothing strenuous after, and that's to get the lymphatics flowing so that the fat just goes through the system. And obviously with exercise, you, you do you know, have some calorie loss. So. so how soon do you see an effect, Kelly? After my first treatment. You saw an effect after your first treatment? Yes, I did. So uh, how many treatments do you need before you're basically at the point where you want to be? Eight treatments. Eight treatments. And mm -hmm. do, you, do you need any more after that? Do you need a maintenance type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. You know, like where a lot of people want to come in, they'll say, okay, I want to do my stomach. And then they see how well it works. Oh, well, I want to do this part of my thigh. 
you know, or like somebody came in, she's having, you know, she's getting married, so she wants to do in here because she has a little bit of extra fat in through here in her wedding dress, you know, she could see it, so we're taking care of that. What advice do you have for folks who, who don't want to have that fat return? What do you say to them to, make, oh, to just prevent that from happening again? Stay on the regular program as long as you don't overdo it. You're, you know, this is something for people who want to stay healthy, and they stay on a good program, and they also exercise on a regular basis. Okay, what about somebody like myself who always talks about getting a tummy tuck? Would this work? Absolutely. Really? Okay, well, I can't yes, wait. <laughs> All right, for more information on alternative health care in Madison, you can call this number, 203-245-8000, or visit ctalternativehealth.com. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Lots of great information. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Coming up next, I'm heading into the kitchen. Betty Ann and Stephanie share a delicious recipe, but first, take a look at this.